Assalamu alaikum, this is Mr. Islam Yusuf. Our lesson today about adding properties and subtraction rule. So the first point in our lesson today, the addition properties. The first property that we have which defined by the commutative property. In this property, if you change the order of the number inside the addition operation, you will find the same number. For example, you can say that 4 plus 1 add the same 1 plus 4. So 4 plus 1 is equals 1 plus 4 and this property defined by the commutative property. The second property that we have which is defined by the associative property. In the associative property, you have three numbers. Three numbers with the same order. Three numbers at the left-hand side and three numbers at the right-hand side. You will find that we have 5, 2, and 3. But here we have 5, 2, and 3. The same order. So if you keep the same order without any change, but you change the number inside the brackets, the grouping symbol. So you'll find that 5 plus 2 plus 3, but we have here 5 plus 2 inside the brackets, are the same as 5 plus 2 plus 3, but we have here 2 and 3 inside the bracket. So we'll keep the same order, but we change the number inside the parentheses. So we have 5 plus 2 equals 7, plus 3 equals 10. And here we have 5 plus 2 plus 3. So the operation must be done at the first. We have inside the brackets 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 equals 5. 5 and 5 equals 10. So we'll find that we have the same answer. So the first property that we have, the commutative property, you change the order of the number and you will find the same answer. For the second property that we have, the associative property. You keep the same order, but you change the number inside the brackets. The property number three, which is defined by the identity property. If you add zero to any number, you will find the result will be the same. Like we can say that eight plus zero equals eight and 0 plus 8 equals 8. So it means that 8 plus 0 are the same as 0 plus 8 equals 8. It means if you add 0 to any number, you will find the result will be the same. So we have another rule which is defined by the subtraction rule. So we said three properties of addition, and we have two properties or two rules in subtraction. The first rule, if you subtract 0 from any number, you will find the same number. The rule number two, if you subtract the number from itself, the answer will be zero. So we have here 22 minus zero equals 22. And 14 minus zero equals 14. It means if you subtract zero from any number, you will find the same number and the number will not change. 14 minus zero, if you subtract zero from 14, you will find the answer will be the same number, which is 14. The second rule, if you subtract number from itself, the answer will be zero. So we have 16 minus 16 equals zero. 20 minus 20 equals 0. A number minus itself equals 0. And that's defined by the subtraction rule. Find each unknown, then write the property that you use. Question number 119 minus a number equals 219. If you subtract 0 from a number, then you will find that the answer will be the same. It means this unknown will be 0. And this property is defined by the subtraction rule. In question number two, we have five plus unknown plus two equals five plus nine plus two. Because they are equal, it means the number at the left-hand side must be the same as the number at the right-hand side. We have five and five, two and two. So the only one which is missing, which is nine. So the unknown now will be equals nine. And this property, you keep the same order, five, nine, and two. Five, nine, and two. But the number inside the brackets are different. So this is the property defined by the associative property. Question number three, we have 74 plus 68 equals a number plus 74. So because we have the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, you will find that we have 74 and 74. It means the missing will be 68. If you look at that statement that we have, you will find that 74 plus 68 are the same as 68 plus 74. You will find that you have the same number but with different order. Different order defined by the commutative property. Again, you have a number plus zero equal to 19. What is the number? If I add it to zero, the answer will be 19. This number will be equal to 19 because any number plus zero equal the same number. This property defined by the identity property. 
So if I say 19 minus 0 equal 19, defined by the subtraction rule. But if you add 0 to any number, defined by the identity property. In question number four, we have a number unknown plus eight plus seven equals to nine plus eight plus seven. Because we have equal sign, it means the left hand side must be equal to the right hand side. We have eight and eight, seven and seven, it means the missing will be nine. We have three numbers with the same order, nine, eight and seven, nine, eight and seven. And the number inside the brackets are different, so this property defined by the associated property. Question number 6, 17 plus 11 plus 18 equals to left hand side equal to the right hand side. 17 and 17, 18 and 18. So the missing is 11. The same order, but with different number inside the parentheses, so it will be the associated property. And that's how we can solve the addition property and the subtraction rule.